Hi, I'm Lisa Leiter. Here's your Chicago Business Today Midday Report. The Chicago Children's Museum is actively pursuing an offer to stay at Navy Pier. The museum would anchor a $155 million redevelopment of the state's largest tourist attraction. Museum officials have until September 22nd to decide whether to renew a dollar a year lease until 2014 or extend it till 2025. Staying at Navy Pier would cost less than a move to Grant Park. That proposal has come under fire from preservationists. The museum posted a $1 million operating deficit in the latest year and has seen declining donations and erratic attendance. Well, a slower economy certainly has kept some people from spending money on museums and other leisure activities. The Chicago area economy grew at just a 1.46% pace in the first half of the year. And while that growth is expected to more than double in the second half to 3.76%, it still would not be enough to push down the local unemployment rate. Moody's Analytics expects the jobless rate will continue to climb for the rest of the year to 8.65% but it's often seen as a lagging indicator. Despite signs of improvement in the economy, though, consumers may not be ready to start spending again, and the housing market has yet to experience a full recovery. Well, Boeing is the biggest spender when it comes to lobbying. The airplane maker paid $4.4 million to lobby Congress during the second quarter. That's down 11 percent from a year earlier. In the number two spot, Exelon, followed by Healthcare Service Corp, Allstate and State Farm. About half of Chicago's largest companies made big increases in their recent lobbying efforts, according to reports filed last week. Aon quadrupled its amount from a year ago, but that mainly had to do with the timing of annual trade association dues, which are reported as lobbying expenditures. And finally, Chicago-based hedge fund Citadel is pushing E-Trade to find a buyer. Citadel is E-Trade's largest shareholder, and this is the second time in a letter in the latest week that it's pushed the company to look at its alternatives. Now Citadel is calling for a special shareholder meeting, according to the Wall Street Journal, which also says that TD Ameritrade's board tomorrow plans to discuss a potential bid for E-Trade. Well, that's a quick look at the stories making headlines in Chicago business today. For more, check in with chicagobusiness.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.